It was Thai's idea. My brain child. <laughs> well, it's recording. <coughs> it's on. You're a fucking asshole, man. You're a piece of shit. What are you, are you parent trapping this guy? Yeah. He's parent trapping us. Oh, oh. That divorce was the best thing we ever did. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah? You're not seeing the kids this weekend. I don't even like those children. <laughs> I don't even like them. I never even wanted them. Their names doesn't matter, right? You know. No, it does matter. Let's talk about their names, though. No. Let's talk about what you named the kids. Nemo and Woody. <laughs> I like those movies. I don't care if you like those movies. Pixar's my favorite. They're not normal names for children to have. It's not okay. Oh, this week on the podcast, <laughs> we examine Dylan's dementia. <laughs> That's you all that It was your, this. This was your idea. Okay. You both. Well, I know all that is. Sorry, man. <sighs> well, that's getting edited. I need my three euro we'll water post. You got three euro water. I got yeah. two twenty water. Oh, you're cheap. Yep, I'm a cheapskate. Ties for ties for ha ha. Oh wow, Dylan, you're insulting me because I don't have enough money. Yeah, in this. T- Really difficult times, times, and city, city. <laughs> yeah, Dylan. Get out of my face. Anyway, all right. Hello. So we're going to start now. Yeah. <laughs> so here we are with these two dudes, Dylan, Ty. You met them in the last episodes, previously in AMC's The Walking Dead. That's pretty good. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. <laughs> all right so let's talk about what it, are we man. doing here we're chilling man we're, we're hanging out. out i had this crazy idea one time what yeah. if what if two of us came on the show at the same time yeah maybe next time we'll have more people let's so get it's gonna be a group let's podcast. Get, let's get like a 30 person <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> dude. like those uh you know those right wing podcasts where they just have like 12 girls and two uh, men shouting them down oh, yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. that but yeah, fun yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only fans yeah yeah, yeah, man. Shit, yeah. oh they're my favorite clips man yeah yeah, yeah they're yeah, so yeah. ridiculous oh uh, dude it's just these guys who've never touched a woman <laughs> 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 screaming at women about but how but they should be acting in society you know at some point i was getting so many of those videos that i i have to like ban yeah the yeah. Videos from, yeah yeah from youtube because like because it thinks that you're actually one of them and you're yeah, not yeah, yeah. it thinks yeah. like you like this content yeah. And you're yeah you're watching it because you hate it yeah, yeah exactly yeah. exactly yeah exactly. so sometimes i was watching stuff like i don't know if if it happens here but in at least I, i'm gonna say in america there's a lot of um well the image mm-hmm. of a person is really relevant so they score your body mm-hmm. from one to ten have you have you seen that like sure what's yeah your number? I mean, people do that in, they, in every do they, do they do that here but i wouldn't ask you what your number is but maybe a debbie heard guys be like she's a she's an eight yeah you know mm. but it's not that it's not that common it's, it's not, not well it's also not that serious yeah, like those right serious. wing guys yeah. are like Full they're belief. serious about it but yeah. like i said they've also never touched a woman you know so it's like <laughs> It's not like you might just casually say to a friend, mm. yeah. "Oh, dude, she's a ten. Yeah, you know, like yeah, you, yeah, but, yeah. but you don't. There's not you're much weight in it. it. No, no. Yeah, yeah, you're not. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not like a real. Yeah, you're not really. You're not actually quantifying. Yeah, because it would be insane to do that. Yeah, yeah, that would be crazy. Person. I know. You're not actually measuring their attraction. But they do it as, as if it was normal, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, and you'd never hear. A, a, well, with my friends anyway, you'd never hear anyone be like, "She's a three. I it's know. always a compliment when when you're saying it. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean. Yeah. You wouldn't say that, dude. She's yeah, she's a yeah, yeah. yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah, it's never. I've never heard a, a friend of mine be like, "Oh, Thank look at her. She's a two. Because two point seven five. And if, honestly, <laughs> if a guy did say that to me, I'd be like, "Oh, we're not friends anymore. No, you're like yeah. weird. Yeah. <laughs> you're like in this weird you rabbit go, hole yeah. of yeah. hating women. Yeah. You know, that is nuts. What a way yeah. to open the vodka. Yeah, <laughs> yeah." <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this, this is supposed to be about music, but we're talking about... Listen, this. let's be honest. Yeah. Let's get this out of the way, Aaron. Yeah. There's going to be feck all music talked about today. Yeah. 
Because we're going to derail the conversation so much. Yeah. Especially with me and Ty. It's <laughs> like, we might start our music, but we're going to get into weird places for, for the next Talking hour. about yeah. derailing. Yeah. You're in a train. You know it's going to derail in three minutes. What yeah. do you do? Jump off the train. I think I'd get as much luggage <laughs> as I could. <laughs> much more? And, and surround myself in it. Like, yeah. like t-shirts and like jumpers and stuff. Yeah. That'd be a solid idea. I'd take all the children and build a wall. <laughs> wall of children, it's a great idea. Build a wall of children around me because they're kind of squishy and soft, so yeah, it might yeah. soften it the makes impact. Sense. Yeah. But look, the way I see it is they're going to die anyway, right? So, like, they might as well save me. They might as well save you. Like, you know, yeah. Like, how much, how much I just think, happen? you know what I mean? Like, why do all of us have to die? Or you could... You could... No, actually, yeah. That's a solid um, And, that and on, that, on that same situation... This is a religious religious question now. Um, if you're the only one that survives to that, Ooh. would you say thanks, uh, thanks God that I'm alive? Oh, would you thank have God? Have you ever seen no, that movie I thank, I thank James Cameron, the director of Titanic and yeah. the Avatar movies. I, I would thank. <laughs> I would thank. I think M. Night Shyamalan. Mm. He directed the movie Unbreakable. That's six sense. No, but Unbreakable specifically. Like, yeah, 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 the train. Are you on the Marvel directors or James Gunn? He's doing Superman now. Yeah. No, but see, in I get up. I go. Thanks, James Gunn, for that. <laughs> <laughs> Unbreakable starts with a train crash, and he's the only survivor. Right. Okay. That's literally like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but Speed I would. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd, you're right. Then I'd get up and like, gee. Thanks, and I shall. Right, and it's the only person you should thank, really. Yeah. Because if you think about it, God put you in the train crash. Yeah. Yeah. Emily yeah. Shamalan saved you. That was saved my point. You. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's actually so true. Would you thank God? No. Because mm. that would be selfish. Yeah. Why am I am I alive? Why my life is more important than the rest? That's true. That's why I wouldn't. Well, what if later on in life, though, mm. you cure cancer and save billions of lives? That would make sense, but that wouldn't happen because I play music. What if your music <laughs> saves so many people? Yeah, in what way? Oh, it's a hypothetical. Yeah. What if your music ends all conflict in the world? Mm, yeah, I could stop wars. That's true. Stuff, yeah. You know what I mean? There's mm -hmm. like a lot of questions that you could ask. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, John Lennon couldn't do it, but yeah. I don't see why you, you couldn't. You know, <laughs> yeah. he also used to slap his wife, so like you're like a little Did bit he? better. Yeah, yeah man, he slapped the shit out of you going on. Yeah. That's Did the funniest he? thing about John Lennon, right? I didn't know Everyone that. sees him as this like that's a god. That's a god. Because of his songs, he right? He did start the whole peace thing. Though. Yeah. <laughs> he was part of the yeah. movement, I suppose, but like he slapped the shit out of you going on. But to be fair, have you heard her say <laughs> <laughs> that video? Oh, I'd probably slap her as well. <laughs> this podcast is gonna be cancelled. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to reel it back. I know I made it a bit overly edgy. Yeah. I'm just doing it for the camera. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> but the, that video, man, when he's playing with Chuck Berry, with Chuck Berry one of Chuck his Berry heroes. Yeah. That was insane. And, and she's like, yeah. hey! Yeah, and you that. see Chuck Berry kind of go like. Man, the so the sound engineer apparently like cuts from like, like yeah, after yeah. a couple seconds. Very what done. a genius! Yeah, yeah, yeah. good dude. It's solid move. It's good dude. I am, um, yeah. No, I had this idea like a couple seconds ago, but imagine if I just started looking at either one of you, like yours are saying something like really, like, <laughs> <laughs> just like for saying something normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I might do that in a couple of minutes. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, yeah. yeah, like I was in the shop the other day. I bought milk. Never mind. Uh, I bet. I don't know. You got oat milk today in your mocha. I did. I did. Oat milk. Yeah. Why? I'm weird. That's why. You prefer oat milk than normal milk? Yeah, because I stopped drinking cow milk. No, actual milk. The other one is oat drink. Okay. They call it oat milk. But it's why the milk. why the switch? Um, because I became vegetarian. Oh shit! Really? Like four years ago oh then I'm i am I'm only finding out about this now and i've yeah. known him for like five years yeah what the fuck that's crazy yeah yeah i did not know that that's that's how i never noticed that because we never eat we're always drinking that's true yeah, that's, <laughs> that's true. True. true and alcohol is vegetarian yeah, yeah it is. it's vegan e even yeah, yeah. Some is some guinness vegan yeah. Some of it. guinness is vegan pretty sure guinness is vegan sure sure. most mm. all alcohols are just from barley barley wheat yeah. potatoes sometimes you can get vodka what about a pint of lard 
I love a good pint of pint of lard, <laughs> melted, down, okay. melted lard. That's not vegan friendly. No, that would be animal fats. I, yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, lard. Sure. What's that? I thought that was vegan. What's lard? It's basically just <laughs> it's liquid it's fat. It's basically like liquefied fat. It's disgusting. I love a pint of lard. <laughs> <laughs> That's like. That makes you think of like, you know, what, you know what old Irish people, <laughs> they always have these like tricks that make you better when you're <laughs> sick, and it's always bullshit, it's always like shit that makes zero sense, mm. they're like, warm seven up, you know, a pint of lard sounds like something, an old Irish person would be like, I'd be like coughing and they'd be like, you need to have a pint of lard, so. pint of lard cures your high cholesterol. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you have lung problems. Get a pint of lard. It takes it so high that it reverses the pressure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's like a, it's like a circle. It's like goes around. <laughs> That's typical. So, yeah. And you ever watch that episode of The Simpsons where Homer like I think <laughs> Homer literally just like sticks a brick of butter on. A, I think he actually might just eat it. I think he, yeah. that was the chair not me. Sorry. But I think he just eats a, a brick of butter and he's just. Yeah, people that actually just eat butter. I used to do that as a kid. That's man. fucking oh, insane, man. You're no, trying there'd be, there'd be the brick of butter and you'd like, get a little nick off it off and, no. and you'd have it and I was just like, oh, that's so good. No. No, no, no it's, it's like nasty, nasty bro. bro. No, it's not. Yeah, no, I don't do it anymore. Even if there's just a bit too much butter on bread or something, yeah. I'm like, I, I love, love it like that. Yeah. I, yeah. I love a lot of butter. Kerry gold. Yeah, yeah, Kerry gold. Yeah. Kerry gold is the best shit. It's the only shit. Yeah. Janice, it's the best butter. It's the best. Uh, they sell it in Chile as well. Do they? Yeah. Holy shit, man. Yeah, I was dating a girl, 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 girl in Germany and she, I went to meet her parents and we had mm. dinner and they whipped out the curry gold. Nuts. Yeah. And they were like, they were like, this is our favorite butter. Yeah. Like, super like, enthusiastic. It's so good. Was like, this is man, curry gold could easily go worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> it is, man. You no, can like worldwide, 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 yeah, worldwide. Yeah, like, like as worldwide as like the Arctic. Yeah. Like penguins just eating curry gold. I could see that. Fat penguins. Yeah. Nice. I could see, or like a pint of lard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A pint of lard with your brick of water. Yeah. Let's buy penguins illegally on the black market and feed one penguin exclusively butter and one penguin exclusively They can lard. store them here. Yeah, 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 I was yeah. Gonna say. Oh, here, the people don't in know the where the podcast is, so let's like say this crazy, we're in yeah. New York right now. Yeah. yeah. We travel all the way. We're in, We're in the basement of the Empire State Building. Yeah. Yeah. And there's penguins on the way. Yeah. With sticks of butter mm-hmm. and pints of lard. Lard, for sure. <laughs> it's going to be like that shopping How game. How do you spell where that we word? Keep, like naming things. Is this listenable? How do you spell that? Lard. Is this podcast <laughs> listenable? No, no it's, it's not. not. No. Yeah, it feels a bit too derailed or something, doesn't it? You said it was going to get derailed. No, I know. I'm, I'm the one causing the derail and it's not a criticism. Yeah. I just wor- It just occurred to me that I was like... Yeah. Is anyone still You're listening? You're self-conscious, no. Yeah, 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 No one's listening to this. I feel like I've said nothing for like 20 minutes now, <laughs> you know? Maybe. You feel like, uh, how this go with guys that you love? I forgot. There's going to be a lot the of brain psycho- rot in this. Psych- There's the a lot of brain rot. The psychologist, the, the Canadian. Jordan Peterson? Jordan Peterson. Oh, I hate that guy. I love him. Man, he is with peace and love. Actually, no, not with peace and love. A moron. And I'm going to elaborate. Mm-hmm. Right? Oh, brother, I can't wait for this. This guy is constantly giving advice to young men about how they should live their life. Mm-hmm. And then uses his own internal anger to fuel their internal anger because mm-hmm. they feel disenfranchised with the world. Mm-hmm. And he's caused this massive group of young men to split off into like weird alt right wing shit, right? He won't take responsibility for it. He has a benzo addiction, so he's no right to be telling anyone what to do. Mm-hmm. He cries every time he talks about men. Did you ever see that? Mm-hmm. He's like, they want to get rid of men. What would we do without men? They're out there doing impossible things, building impossible structures. It's like, shut up. Nobody's trying to get rid of men. That's not real, man. That's true. There's probably like one woman in the world who's like, I'd love to get rid of men. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. com- like completely. You know what I mean? It's like, he just makes up these made up scenarios and then tries to make them into being like a real thing. And they're just not a real thing. But if you're 15 and impressionable, mm. you're like, oh, yeah, that sounds terrible. Yeah. You know? And that's his whole thing. He also can't answer a question. Whenever you're watching me interviewed, they're like, what do you think about this? And he goes, well, let me ask you about this. <laughs> yeah. And then he just, like, goes on this fucking tangent. And it's I, like, 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 what are you like doing? How are you making money, man? I, like, I watched him for maybe, like, I had a spell of, like, two or three weeks 
a couple of years ago. Wasn't yeah, me too, when I was younger. Years. And then I kind of realized after like three weeks, now, I was like... Yeah, now I've, heard, now I've heard so much shit against him that I just don't even listen to either of it. Look, so I don't like, think where is like, that coming from? I don't think he's like evil or anything, yeah. you know? Like, he's not evil. He's just like not the intelligent guy everyone thinks he is. Like, mm-hmm. you know? He's smart in a way. Yeah. Like, he's been able to monetize his mm-hmm. bullshit. But he's not this like high intellectual that everyone makes him out to be. Who, if... If there was one celebrity, if there was a high intellectual mm-hmm. that you would go for, mm-hmm. I mean, if you had to think of just a really well-spoken dude to heed information from. What type of information? Like? I don't know. Because if it's like... Self-improvement. Self-improvement? Self-improvement. Self- I like Andrew Huberman. I think he's... Not familiar with him. He's like a doctor. He's, he's pretty good. Mm-hmm. He's kind of a no-bullshit guy. He doesn't talk politics or anything. Yeah. He's just like, it's all just self Do you know who's good? That's James Smith guy, I think his name is. I'm not familiar with him. He's like, I think it's James Smith. He's like this no bullshit, like fitness dude from right. UK. But he's just like, man, he has life, this podcast. I think he might, yeah, I think yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah. It's like, your it's life really doesn't cool. have to be shit, man. Just like, mm. like basically, that's why, like a while ago, I, I, I went on a bit of a health buzz. Yeah. And, uh, I wasn't like counting my calories. I was just like, oh, pick this over that, and just like make these like easy things that you can like maintain. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I'm kind of like, I'm kind of trying to get back at like I'm trying to sink this now, like and mm-hmm. drink loads of water and shit. And, I don't know, but like it's so, I don't know. There's just people that are real with the journey. They're not like yeah, selling he, you. Huberman, the guy I mean, he's like that. Yeah. He's not. He's not like trying to sell, yeah. sell me like pills or yeah. like yeah. a book. You yeah. know, he's just yeah. like. Yeah. His information's free. He has the data. He always brings up the data that backs it up. So, like, he'll talk about studies mm. and recite the data. I think I know. I'm going to Google uh, him. Yeah, you'll know his face for sure, man. Yeah. And uh, he... That's why I like him. Because he's not, he's not like a grifter. There's so many grifters now on the internet, man. Like, Jordan Peterson's one of them, you know? He's always trying to sell a book or a pill or, like, mm. something, you know? Look what I Google that. Gary V. <laughs> Why am I bad with names? Why am I bad with names? <laughs> I'm so bad with names, man. I'm so bad with names. Um, Pearson's a bit like that. Gary V is like that. You know, a lot of people go to him for business advice. I can't, yeah, I can't, all, I can't. all his business advice is, well, you take 10 grand and then you, know. <laughs> you know, and it's like, dude, that's not useful, you know? And he's always trying to sell talks. His voice is all like, <laughs> yeah. He's trying to sell talks. He's trying to sell NFTs. Yeah. Like, he, man, he ripped NFTs. off. He ripped off his audience selling those NFTs. What were NFTs? Like, they're, they're kind of gone now. Nothing. What was it? Like it was like digital art, basically. Yeah. So digital the art. NFT, the idea of the NFT is, is it's a good way to prove ownership. Mm. Mm. People were selling it as art, and then all the crypto bros were like, we're getting in early on this because it's gone to the moon. Mm. And it got overinflated because it was a, basically a big pump and dump scheme. So... All these influencers set up NFTs. Mm. Loads of their fans bought them with their hard-earned money. The influencers cashed out. People like Gary Vee, people like Logan Paul. Yeah. They cashed out. Yeah. The market crashes. Most NFTs are down to zero now. Really? Zero. Fuck. There's only a handful that have any value. Mm-hmm. And even at that, they don't have the value they Charlie had. bit my finger. Remember that video? Had like a specific... Yeah. That was one of the yeah. first ones. Was it yeah. NFT? Was yeah, it? like the original video. Right. That's kind of cool, though. Yeah. That's a relic. <laughs> that is a relic. Yeah, that is a relic, for sure. <laughs> but no, it's dumb. It is dumb. But yeah, there's so many grifters on the internet, and they just annoy me. And Peterson's going to one of them. It's Let's like, start a scam, bro. It's like, I just think, like, you can, sure, like, he has some self-help advice, like, make your bed, you know? But, like, everything after that is so dramatized by him. Like, he makes the world seem like such an awful place. And, like, don't get me wrong, the world's not, like, Disneyland, you know? But it's no. like... If you think it's hell, it is. Like, yeah. the way you perceive things is very, very important to your day-to-day yeah. life. That's why I don't get why people watch those, like, terrible murder documentaries 24-7. Dude. I'm I like, just, man, I love them. watch something. I'd be paranoid. Watch as something fuck. funny, I'd be like, man. Everyone's a, I love them. I like, I like, the, I, like, like a, <laughs> I like a sprinkle of them. I do like a sprinkle of them. But, like, I think, like, even the news in Ireland... Like, okay, there's terrible things that happen. Miserable weather. Right? There, there is, yeah. That's the kind of shit, man. Yeah. And, and that's what news channels, I get, I get why news channels do that. They yeah. create these things where you don't understand it or you fear it. And then you're like, oh shit, how's that thing that I'm scared of getting on? Or yeah. that I don't like getting on? Yeah. And then they, they want to go back and they're getting... He- headlines are the first yeah. version of yeah. clickbait. Like, yeah. yeah. You deal with exactly. clickbait all the time. Yeah. yeah. But like, and imagine if there's That's like, all headlines are. Like, oh, uh, like some really good news, like... Oh, baby ducks are 
are having great times in the ponds again or something. Well, like both are like relevant. You, you, you have that. to know. You do have to know the bad shit going. I know that too. Right? But so like, like, when when was the last time there was a good headline? Or like, I don't know. There probably it's was in a minute. It's, do you know what I mean? In a minute for sure. And, and it's like so. I don't know. I think when you have the, I think it's because the good news, you read it and then you put it to bed. Yeah, yeah. Because it's good news. It's the good no. ending. Yeah, no. But like the bad news, you're like, oh shit, what's gonna happen next? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and then you come back for more. They sell more, and they, it, that's the way in every other. Remember country, during you know? COVID? Yeah, I remember during COVID, mm -hmm. RTE would put the numbers out every day. Yeah, and yeah. that was, yeah. I think, Scared at the start, around. like I get why they're kind of doing it, but then after a while, it was like. I did, but the time it was yeah. the second year and they were still putting numbers out, was I was like, I was you like, guys no. are scumbags. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You're bad people. You're yeah. making old people scared. Yeah. That's yeah. all you're doing. Yeah. Like, you're making people who are maybe like 70 plus or people younger with medical conditions. Yeah. You're just like, you're making them like, yeah. ah, it's a bit you know? Up, man. It's it's, a bit yeah, up. it's not, it's not okay. It's for the first time. But it works. Like, That's the problem. Like, yeah. people don't, yeah. uh, most people I think aren't very good at like, being objective mm. and recognizing that like what they're doing here is like while the stats are true and they're important yeah the way they're framing it is in order to make is to make sure i come back tomorrow yeah and check again yeah yeah and i think most people aren't very good at that because most people just see it and like freak out of it yeah. you know oh I, man COVID showed me a lot about the world man yeah show me a lot about did people you and did yeah. you get to know people or friends better under those circumstances in some ways yeah yeah i think it made me feel closer to the people i love for sure mm -hmm. because you know we weren't able to see them for a while mm -hmm. and, and uh i just got to make it a bigger effort to stay in touch with them yeah also made me realize a lot of people i knew were morons you mm -hmm. know <laughs> like just idiots mm -hmm. and like, to elaborate. well just like you know <laughs> just inconsiderate shit like the first couple of months of lockdown mm -hmm. like just like, just stay indoors. Yeah. I understood yeah. after like six months. I got it. I was yeah. like, it's it took, me, took me a bit longer to like yeah. start kind of breaking rules in terms yeah. of restrictions. Yeah. But like, I understood, I understood why people were like, fuck this. This yeah. isn't like, this isn't going to end. And when they start restricting oh, man. people to like, in the first two yeah. months, yeah. Like in the first two months of COVID, when people were like having house parties and stuff, I was like, "Yeah, it's not you're an asshole, yeah. Like, yeah. You're, and you're an idiot. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're dumb yeah. for doing that." Mm. Like, I remember in restaurants, it was like you have to spend nine euro to get a drink. Oh, oh dude, that was, like, crazy. Yeah. was nuts. Man. <coughs> that was so funny. Yeah, for anyone not watching in Ireland, one yeah. of the restrictions because Irish people love the pub so much and we're such a liability. Uh, the government said that you could only buy alcohol in a bar if you also spent nine at least nine euro on a meal. Which made no sense because the idea was that it was su a substantial meal <laughs> to go here, which just doesn't stop COVID. So I didn't, I never understood it. It was yeah. just bullshit. But it's it just became nice. a thing where like pubs would charge like nine euro for a sandwich. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then people were just getting pissed in the yeah. pub. That's anyway, I, I mean, I'm down for that. Yeah, I had fun. Yeah. I had fun. Yeah. I mean, that would be at the yeah. point where I was, I was also like, right, I'm just gonna like start living life the way I, I'm able to. Yeah. yeah based on the restrictions yeah. and like not be like in the house all the yeah. time so i um you were saying there for the six months oh no yeah i was just thinking about that real yeah it's but, some of the rules are crazy man, man in, two kilometers chile, from your house was crazy yeah, yeah. Was in chile was even worse man was it? people were composed to wear masks everywhere right all outside the Oh, inside fuck. everywhere in a hot country like that that'd be yeah. yeah yeah when it was summer it was yeah Fuck me. And I remember I, I traveled to see my family and I was like, you know, how do you say? I've been living here for a while. So I was like, ah, oh, fuck this. I'm not going to wear a mask yeah. outside because I'm just walking by myself. Yeah. There's no one around me. And I would walk like that around the neighborhood and people would look at me like, oh, what the fuck is this guy yeah. doing? You know? Even in the street alone. Yeah. Right. Because that's why we had the... Two meters. Two meters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that, that was that was standard. That's understandable. Yeah. 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 yeah, but you don't. You wouldn't have to wear a mask if you're if you were outside. You know. Mm. Yeah. Man, what a crazy time! Man, yeah. I, I forget how that. bad that yeah. was. Man, everybody was spread around yeah. the world in yeah. like, like man, imagine that like, news. Like, I, that's like a fucking movie, man. Yeah. I got a lot of good stuff from COVID. Yeah. 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 It grounded me. You know, it made yeah. me a much happier person because it like simplified my life. I really? mean, but it made me realize like what was important to me. I was 21 going into COVID, so like 
So I had a lot of like soul searching to do, you know. Mm. I still do at twenty six, you know, but like mm. especially at twenty one, you know, you're still like learning so yeah, much about yeah, yourself yeah. and I used to be like very like depressed all the time and like I'm mm. very, very angry all the time, you know. Mm. And I'd say within the first month of COVID, I I just had a lot of alone time and zero pressure. Mm. But I had no pressure in life anymore. Mm. There was no social pressure. Yeah, there was no, yeah. nothing. So it made me realise social pressure was kind of bullshit. Like, no yeah. matter what it is. And ultimately, you kind of put that pressure on yourself. Mm. Yeah, like, like, nobody actually cares if I own a house or not. No. But like, <laughs> I think people care if I own a house, you know? Mm. So then, therefore, if I'm getting down about that, that's my problem. It's not even like... It's not even really society. Because people say society says this, society says that. It's true for some things. Most things you think that about. Yeah. I get why you think it, mm -hmm. but most people actually don't care. So like, it doesn't really make sense. So it eliminated all social pressure for me. And then it made me go like, well, jobs aren't real because they can disappear tomorrow as they did for most people. Mm -hmm. Money isn't real. Health also isn't really, really real. You know, you can do your best to keep it, but like mm -hmm. that can also go away. Yeah. So it just, kind of, it made me think like all you have is how you're treated by people and how you treat people. Mm. And when I realized that, man, I was the happiest I ever was in my entire life. Really? It was made it, my life so simple. Was it an epiphany moment? Yeah, and it was Were huge. you losing your shit? It was huge. And I actually, I took mushrooms a couple of years later for the first yeah. time. Mm -hmm. And the elation I felt on mushrooms, I'd already felt in COVID yeah. with no drugs. Like, wow. it's because I'd never taken mushrooms before, so I didn't know that it was like yeah, that yeah. when i took mushrooms like the the happiness i felt yeah i was like oh that's like when i was in covid and life just seemed simple mm. you know and which also kind of says a lot about like the pressure you how negatively the pressure you put on yourself can yeah, affect yeah. you you know yeah for sure. and and there are pressures in life like we have to keep our head above water because we live in a society that requires like money just to keep the ball rolling you yeah. know so like and that's okay that's that's, that's the only pressure that's part of what we, we yeah. subscribe to but like you shouldn't let yourself get down too much. There's mm -hmm. a lot. Which is something I forget sometimes too. I'd say most of the shit feelings that anyone has are just from your own. Like, yeah, for sure. Your yeah. own <clears throat> pressure that you put in yourself. Perspective's huge. Yeah. And like, yeah. I lose perspective. Like, talking about this now, I like, fully yeah. remember that feeling and stuff. Mm -hmm. But like, I don't walk around every day thinking yeah. that, yeah, you know? Yeah, it's yeah. like, it's easy to get lost again, and, you know? Like, but, don't get me wrong. Like, some fucked up, like, people will be mean to people and that's, that's shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like, I... In fairness, like, uh, it's far and few between for, for most people, I like to imagine, where there's, like, oh, well, no, not really, I suppose, but for me, anyway, mm -hmm. like, I, like, it's been, a, it's been a minute since someone's been a cunt to me, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's like, I think I, what stopped me from feeling way better than I am right now is mm -hmm. just fucking everything that's in Jerome there. Robots, Do you know what I mean? Yeah, literally. Yeah, COVID like really changed my life in that yeah. way, you know. Yeah. Now, that was the first six months and I did carry that feeling for like two, three years after, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'd say by like the eighth month of COVID, while carrying that appreciation, yeah. I was also like, fuck this, man. Like, this is so horrible. I yeah. can't yeah. like, why can't I just yeah, why am I not allowed to get public transport? Why am that's, I not allowed that's to be what, at the beach? Why am I, you know, it's COVID like, made me appreciate so much more. Yeah, you know, just, simple things. And even now, like, sometimes I'll just be like, this is great. Like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, you're having the crack on a night out. Yeah. So, like, I will genuinely just be like, this is fucking class. Yeah. Yeah. It is so, kind of crazy, though, that the world has this collective trauma now. Yeah. That yeah. we haven't fully explored. No. Like, we're definitely still seeing the after effects. Oh, of it, man, know? it's going to go on for a fucking year. Yeah, like, I feel like there's, like... In a few years. Like, yeah, like, and then, yeah. you know, kids born in that time and born since, like... Yeah. We'll just have this big gap, you mm -hmm. know? Like, COVID will seem like this old story, the way the Black Plague mm -hmm. sounds to us, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, like... It's, it's, it's kind of crazy. It's, like It's fucking... The, it was the whole world, man. That's yeah. what's crazy about it. It mm -hmm. wasn't limited to... To Ireland or yeah. Chile or mm. Australia, it was everywhere, and man. it happened so fucking and, fast. Man, and it was like a yeah. month, and the whole world was like, "Fuck." Yeah. yeah. At first, I was sharing memes, and then I was freaking out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember when everybody bought toilet paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. Yeah, when there was yeah. no toilet paper and yeah, bread, man. Irish people always run for bread and toilet paper when a yeah. uh, when a crisis is happening. I love that. When we had that big snowstorm in 2018, yeah. that, those were the, the things thing that went off the shelf. Yeah. It was milk, bread, toilet paper. <laughs> they immediately went off the shelf and everything else kind of slowly disappeared. Because it's the a shelf. high fear. 
Yeah. And like you'll get toilet paper. Well, I get the toilet paper kind of. <laughs> and like milk maybe. The bread one is like You can make it your own. Yeah, but like if you know their food, like you really just gotta eat a loaf of bread, like what yeah, no, I'd no. I'd be much more inclined to go for like let's bag buy sports. twelve frozen pizzas yeah. and a bag of potatoes. Especially a bag of potatoes, man, that's probably super Irish, but like yeah. potatoes are super nutritious mm. and they have they have a good balance of like proteins and carbs mm. um, for a vegetable. Like yeah. you know? so it's like that I'd, I'd be much more inclined to buy that than like Brennan's bread. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're starving to death, you're gonna yeah. eat that loaf in a day, yeah. <laughs> and then and then you're fucked again. Where's you know? potato? Like you could man, you, you get can, a bag you of get a few days out of a bag of potatoes. Man, you get man, you get more than a few yeah. days. Man, like you got a big fucking load of potatoes. I love you potatoes. Can spread here. that out, man. You watch the Martian? You watch the Martian? We Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Yeah. That movie's cl- I watched that recently. He grows potatoes on Mars. Yeah. I've never seen it, but doesn't he grow them in his own shit? Yeah. Fair play to him. Man, so look, he's like the only guy on Mars, right? And he's just like, his, his like, uh, strength is botany. He's a botanist. Yeah. Which is a fucking huge, like, plus when you're stranded on a planet and you need to sort out food fast. Yeah, yeah. So he just takes the shit out of, like, they have these like, little vacuum sealed packs of shit because they're in fucking space. Yeah. And uh, he uses that to, like, as fertilizer for the spuds. Mm. Spoilers. Movie came out in like 2016. Spoilers! 2016. Yeah, 2016. So like, it's been eight years since that movie. I was gonna watch it next year on its <laughs> nine year anniversary. You spoiled the entire movie for me, asshole. You're not an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite thing. Like, have you ever seen the first Jurassic Park? Here's what happens, and you go, ah, spoilers! No. <laughs> <laughs> well, have you ever read the Bible? The <laughs> spoilers, yeah, I, guess no spoilers. <laughs> I don't want to hear about the Bible. I haven't read it yet. I'm getting. I'm going to get to it. Big <laughs> bang. Shut up, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking dumb, man. That's actually, the Big Bang's extra funny. You're living the spoiler. <laughs> the Big Bang is like the you're first like, thing that happens. You're experiencing, <laughs> yeah, you're experiencing the spoilers. The Big Bang is the first thing that happens. It's like, if you read the book of everything, yeah. it's, like, it's the fucking first page. It's literally the first two words, Big Bang. <laughs> yeah. Speaking That's about so Big Bang, do you like Big Bang Theory? I watched as a teenager, but then yeah. when I got older, I realized it's not funny. No, I, 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 I never liked. I watched it. a couple <laughs> seasons. I think the theme song was great. Crazy. I loved the theme yeah. song when I was younger. Yeah, uh, yeah. When I got older, I've actually this with a lot of shows. I no longer watch shows that have laugh tracks. I don't oh, like yeah, them. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, can't. Yeah. I don't think a show. I, yes. I don't think a show should tell me something yeah. funny. And there's some rare exceptions, like mm. Friends. Like there's Flash. some genuinely funny moments. Yeah. That yeah, the crowd but, laughs at, which is fine. Yeah. There's also a lot of shit in Friends, though. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, it is great sitcom, mm-hmm. but like I think it's highly overrated. Yeah. But like now it is. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of stuff. We have to think about the time. Yeah, as well, that's, true. You know? that's true. That's true. Um, but like it is a bit of a pioneer. There's a lot of stuff. This way, I don't trust that tracks. I'll say this line mm-hmm. like that, and then you just hear it's like, ah, yeah. and it's not funny. No. And they have to tell you it's funny, yeah. otherwise you're gonna realize it's not funny. Man, yeah. have you ever seen like I was, I'm, I'm assuming you have because I feel like it went viral, but like people taking the laugh tracks out in shows. Yeah. It's so awkward, man. Yeah, just because they pause it's for laughter. So yeah. so awkward, and it's so like because it's not funny, number one, and then they also yeah. pause for laughter. Mm. But yeah, that's why I don't like the back theory. It's like. Yeah. No. It's just like, oh, if by season 10, they're like, oh, Sheldon still doesn't understand things. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, so, yeah. I don't yeah. know, man. I do like, no, hold on. For laugh track TV shows, I am a fan of uh, How I Met Your Mother. Does that yeah. have a laugh track? Yeah, it does, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, um, I found that funny. That I watched that like twice the whole way that's through. That's pretty funny. Um, the Peep Show. The Peep Show doesn't have a laugh track, though. No, no. Peep show's so good, good. Though. Peep show's great. I've seen it more than 10 times. Peep show. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, Father Ted. That has a laugh track. I'm pretty That's sure. it, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. All those I've only seen a couple of episodes. The IT around. crowd, I think, might have. Don't like the IT crowd. You don't like it? Man, what? I just find it so painfully unfunny, man. Yeah, yeah. It's like Big Bang oh, Theory for me. Yeah. Bits in it, I think it's very like Big Bang Theory. Mm. Yeah, but like, Big Bang Theory has funny bits as well, yeah, you know? Okay, it's like, okay. yeah. any show... I think the characters are good. The characters are great. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Moss is so funny, man. They're too hammy for me or something. Okay. Hammy. hammy. Yeah, What's it's hammy? just like, it's like hammed up, you know? It's like, it's character and then it's exaggerated, you know? And it's uh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, like, Moss is like, 
the super like awkward like Nerd borderline autistic guy and he's just that yeah. exaggerated and then just stays like that the whole way through the show from start to finish I watched through the IG crowd once like I watched it start to finish and I was just like not fun ah it's just overrated because all my friends were talking about it at school and I was like yeah. I better watch this you know and yeah, I watched yeah. it and I just kind of stuck with it. I was like, maybe I'll get funny. Because I've watched shows right yeah. in like the first season. Yeah. And then by season three, I'm like obsessed with the characters. You know? Yeah, like that. So I rolled I rolled through it all. And I was like, it just, it doesn't do it for me. Yeah. I think British comedy for me is not yeah, like. It's not your vibe. Oh, really? No. I learned to like it when I yeah. when I came to live here. Because yeah. when I was in Chile, I didn't. But yeah. now when I came here, because of Amy, I've watched so many British Comedy like shows. I like the dryness of British humor yeah, and yeah. stuff, and and like you, you know, you know what I, what, really what, really in between, yeah, is, yeah, in between yeah, is one of the funniest shows of all yeah, time. Yeah. It's not an absolute rule. I don't hate yeah, all British yeah. comedy. I just think yeah. on average, I seem to find yeah, American you know, comedy you know, funnier. You know, you know what they do in British comedy that I realize that they, how how do you say they they put they put you in this world where everything absurd, weird, is normal. Yeah, and they go along with it. Yeah. That's how it works. Yeah. That's why what I realize. It's a big part of a lot of comedy, just kind of suspending mm. your disbelief, you know? Well, yeah, I feel like you do that in a lot of things. Like The Simpsons. Like, that show is fucking ridiculous. Yeah. But even, like, even, like, everything is another like American example of that, actually, and you're right, they do do that a lot of British mm. comedy, um, more so than the Americans. Yeah. But Step Brothers. Yeah. Like, Step Brothers. Yeah. That's a great... Man, That's like crazy. the idea that only by the end of the movie are their parents kicking them out when they're 40 years old is obviously an absurd you know what I mean when you look at their behavior throughout yeah. the movie it's like you have to kind of suspend your disbelief that like this is 40 and this is the first time you're having a conversation about moving out like yeah. you know what I mean you have to kind of like <laughs> go of those things you know yeah. and it's like a big part of like any kind of art form even dramas man and and, yeah. and stuff like that it's like if you're to actually approach it with a what you spill water, mm -hmm. oh no, just ishka, and um, it's fine. It's yeah, you always have to kind of like accept the world you're observing because mm. if you were to translate most of that stuff into real life, like so, movie would end in three that's minutes. why I think Step yeah. Brothers is pretty good until the end or until the bits where his older brother comes in. Oh no, sorry, the movie's fucking great, like I love the movie, so but like animals. what they do really well is like. The two brothers are absurd for most of the movie. Yeah. And then everybody else is normal. Yeah. And then... And then, until, and then flips. Yeah, but then when the big brother comes into the scene as well, like when he's talking at the dinner table, yeah. and like Dale puts in, he's just, eh, it's okay. It's, and yeah, like the yeah. whole like family are just like kind of getting into it then as well. <coughs> but and I then, like the flip. When they get a real job the and they start thing. taking things seriously. Yeah. And then the family starts to be like, yeah. ah, fuck, we kind of like took away their spark yeah, or whatever, you know? Their dinosaur. And then the family yeah. starts encouraging them to be... Degenerate, yeah. <laughs> like forty-year-old wasters. So, so one of the best episodes of The Simpsons then is uh -huh. the episode. I think his name is something, <coughs> something Grimes. I can't remember his first name, but it's the episode where they basically get the idea of it was to get what would a normal person do working beside Homer Simpson, and it's this guy that has like great Homer Simpson, great house, great family, yeah. steady job. His life is like pretty. Fucking yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. His house is lovely. And uh, this guy, uh, Frank Grimes is in. Mm. He goes to college. He's, his whole life is shit. Yeah. He's working so hard to get to where he gets to. And he just about gets his job in Springfield. Homer gets like employee of the month or something, I think. Homer's like chewing on pencils. Like you've seen parents <laughs> are like he's fucking up shit. In the yeah, yeah, yeah. And like he's so, Frank is like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? Yeah. Like how is he getting his life on here? And uh, you should watch the episode. It's fucking like it's really, really cool. He loses Frank loses the plot, yeah. And he ends up doing something as stupid as Homer would do, and then he dies. <laughs> <laughs> and like, and it's so, it's just like, it's so fucking. It's kind of like this is fucking ridiculous. This yeah. show is yeah. ridiculous, know, you know? and this is what like would happen if a real person was here. And yeah, yeah, yeah. it's really cool. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's my, one of my favorite episodes of The Simpsons. And Did I think you watch it's the entire the best series. Like, I didn't because I there's so many episodes. It get, well, no, it I gets. Shit, I don't, don't remember any. All of it. I don't it gets remember really any. Like, it gets really bad after like season. 
I don't know. I kind of like it up until like maybe season fifteen. The old, or the, old, the old, the old movies. season six. I think after they made the movie, I think it got really shit. Man, mm-hmm. the movie was hilarious. The movie's great though. The movie's fucking. The nice. movie the was. Movie. I went to see that with my dad. And <laughs> the and movie. We had so a great good. time watching that movie. Yeah. That was the first movie I ever like laughed at. Yeah, yeah. In I remember. Cinema, you know, like. Man. To the point where it was yeah, like actually making me laugh out loud, yeah. you know? Yeah. I remember when like TV shows would make a movie and it was a fucking big deal. Like yeah. the yeah. Simpsons movie was fucking huge. Yeah. Now it's like but it's also so common fucking though. Movie. Yeah. I don't know if you remember this because you're you're only a couple of years younger than me, but like in your early life that makes a big difference. Mm-hmm. But when I was small man, The Simpsons was like still on top of the world. Like oh, yeah, Bart yeah, Simpson yeah. was on so many t shirts. Yeah, like he yeah. was an icon. No, they knew, took over the entire globe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For years, and it's it's a great thing about um, cartoons as a form of media. It's yeah. like it's very easy to get people invested all over the world. Yeah. You know, Definitely. the dubbing isn't as important as my, my uncle was the live action stuff. So that episode, who shot Mister Burns? They finished season, I think it's season eight or nine, on part one of that episode. Yeah, and they don't reveal who does it. In the bookies, they were doing bets. Yeah. On who shot Mr. Burns. Like, yeah. that's how big the show is. <laughs> oh, man, it's crazy. Like, yeah. There's headlines about it and stuff like that. And, like, like, and, like you can make money off of what the fucking... Yeah. Like, the Simpsons was the biggest thing in the yeah. world at one point. And then Maggie does it. I think that's why... Yeah, yeah, I think that's why the movie was so hyped yeah, as well. Yeah. It lost some of its steam. But because, obviously, movie, it can't be, like, the biggest thing in the world forever, right? So, yeah, like, yeah. it lost a bit of its steam. But, like, it was kind of, like, this big moment for, like, people who have been fans for years. Yeah, you know, there were yeah. kids... There were kids who watched Simpsons who were adults by the time the movie came out and stuff like yeah. that, you know? And it's yeah, like, yeah. it, uh, yeah, what a, what a, can point. you believe I watched The Simpsons dubbed into Spanish? That's, still okay, so that's one thing I find I feel weird. Like it still hits it's one thing I find weird about cartoons, right? Mm-hmm. Because usually the voices are so distinct. Yeah. Oh. So the idea of watching it dubbed, like, I've heard SpongeBob in German and I hate it because that's yeah. not how SpongeBob sounds to me. Yeah. How does it sound in English? His voice, yeah. SpongeBob, yeah, it's like shrill kind yeah, of. Like, like, great ah, 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 like <coughs> the laugh is the same. Yeah, the laugh sounds like that. Yeah, yeah. and uh, because in Spanish he sounds like that. Or, yeah, but yeah, like about Patrick, the voice itself. Patrick is kind of dumb like yeah. this. Yeah, in Spanish. It's, boop, boop. Okay, so it's yeah. quite similar, boop, yeah. but yeah. I've heard it in other languages, and like some of the stuff, it's just like it's boop. weird, you know. Yeah, yeah. imagine if in one of the dubs, it's like SpongeBob's like, "Hey guys, I'm SpongeBob. I'm ready. Promotion." <laughs> But even like the Simpsons, really? like Homer's dough is so distinct. Yeah. Yeah. And and Ooh. Bart's Bart's voice, Lisa's Marge's is very distinct, yeah. you know? And it's like especially actually that shows a great example of distinct voices that you know if you close your eyes and you hear Marge's voice, yeah. you go, Marge Simpson. I, I listen yeah. like straight away. Yeah. I could name Mo. Yeah. I fucking like, love Apu. Mo says like yeah. <coughs> Sorry. Great character. All these characters like yeah. they're instantly recognizable from their voice. And mm. any non-English speaking country in the world has a totally different perception yeah. of what that voice is, That's and crazy. it freaks me out because yeah. it's as iconic as the yellow skin yeah. and the to be honest, red t-shirt and blue shorts. You know, it's when, like, they, when they're dubbed into Latin American Spanish, at least I cannot talk about European Spanish. Yeah, it's a bit different. Um, the voices are very similar to the mm, English. Voice. Really? Yeah, because I when I came here and started watching The Simpsons in English, I was like, well, oh, they're very similar okay yeah that's cool yeah i think they they make an impression yeah of the vocal artists or something but even like dubbing of like movies like morgan freeman yeah but voice, we're only talk, talking about cartoons I if that you do. a real action movie yeah. it's not the same of I course hate, of course, I hate dub, of course but i just mean like sometimes the voice is such a big part yeah it of is. something Definitely. and it's so weird that like Doesn't other say, people yeah, in the yeah, world just yeah. have a totally different perception yeah. of that character for me, you know for, man, for you know, me when you know, the names of movies yeah yeah it's the same thing yeah. same thing is fun for me when when a movie is dubbed into any language it just loses yeah all the acting all miss, the performing yeah. everything yeah, <laughs> yeah sometimes i've seen clips mm-hmm. you might have um like you might have like uh a, a guy with a deep voice yeah. and it's like an action movie and he says the line we're gonna go get them or yeah, something yeah. like that right and there's a bit of gravitas to it and yeah. it's strong and then you hear like the Spanish version yeah. and maybe that's voice actor because when you get assigned yeah. a voice actor that's your voice actor for yeah, life yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah. maybe the Spanish guy is like a higher voice you know yeah. and mm-hmm. he's like the dude's standing like this and he goes vamos a atraparlos 
Yeah, and it's like weird. And it's like, you're like, that's not how Vin Diesel sounds. No, no, vamos a matar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's like, we, it gets really odd yeah. sometimes, you know? Yeah. Oh, especially those Asian movies. Yeah. Dubbed into like English or yeah, Spanish. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. <laughs> it's weird. Or you ever see those? I've seen like these ventriloquists on TikTok. Yeah. Uh, where oh, they'll go good. like, they'll go like, hello. And like, it's like they're talking, it's like their mouth is delayed and yeah. it's fucking cool as shit. And I'm like, how the fuck? So Imagine doing that to someone in the coffee shop who's like, oh, thanks so much for your coffee. Or like, <laughs> that. that'd be They'll so be like, weird, man. <laughs> if you could actually do it properly, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I need yeah. to pee. I'm so sorry. I need to yeah. pee as well. I mean, yeah. we'll take turns. We'll take, we'll take, we'll take a pause. We'll yeah, do a the, pause. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> oh, pause. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Intermission. Intermission. <coughs> now, two, one. She's rolling. We're back. We're rolling. Back, baby. Now, this is the scene where I need you guys to uh, look into each other's eyes and just really get across how much you loathe each other. You really thought it was good? Yeah. Is this good? That's real great. Is this uh, good? Oh, yeah. Is this uh, what you wanted? Oh, yeah. That's I real. can kill him in real life if you want. That's real life. For the movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's acting. Don't be so upset. Oh, yeah. They're going to they're gonna love this. Yeah. So I get back over here, you creep me out, man. My name's not Ty. Get over name's here. Chadley, I've been here the whole time. <laughs> oh my god, see you later, Chadley. Chadley's a prick. <laughs> I'm a piece of shit. I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> I can't, what, what was I used to say? You just go, I'm a piece of shit, and I used to go, I oughta. I used to come up with a different one. Oh yeah, phone. like. I oughta dress up as a toy and go to Sid's house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> It's yeah, just like yeah. something like that would basically mean What's, you're doomed. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I had a light iron in the Lewis tracks. Or something <laughs> like that. Or I had to dress up as a fire hydrant and let dogs piss all over me. I oughta get kidnapped. <laughs> I oughta get kidnapped by cowboys tied up and left on the train tracks. <laughs> and you're on the song and I had to go to the Arctic without the proper training and or equipment. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's such like a specific one. Yeah, yeah. like, so, I used to be so good at doing that. Yeah. I've ah, lost, no, that. You, you, I've you lost my head. Yeah, just keep telling yourself you're a piece of shit. You'll know? <laughs> <laughs> get better. You'll get, get better. You'll get there. Uh, yeah. That was a good pee break, man. Yeah. I'm feeling really relieved. Oh, I'm feeling lighter now. I'm, I think I'm, it's working. I'm in a leader right now. Yeah. So want to do a little chug? Chug on the... Uh, chug challenge? Let's see where we are. We're on one, two, three, four, five things. Okay. Let me see. You got this, man. Mm -hmm. I won't be able to finish it. You got this. It's not Guinness. Go, 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 go. This is great content. Yeah. Quality. For our audio listeners, I got it. Quite, <laughs> yeah, I got it. I got it down quite a bit. <laughs> Hold on, my voice is permanently like this. Are you Batman yeah. now? No, I don't know. It was like a mix between Mario Simpson and the guy that works at Krusty Burger. <laughs> oh, what you like in your burger? <laughs> no, but he's more like, Hello, welcome to Krusty Burger. What would you like in your burger? Dude, why do you get into voice acting, man? I would love yeah. to do that shit, yeah. man. Like I was the Chad Lee there a second ago, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> Chris didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I would love to do it, man. It'd be really fun. Um, I was mm -hmm. I was told about Fiverr. Do you know yeah, Fiverr? I was. Yeah. I was. I was. I was told about that. So you can put yourself up on Fiverr and be like, oh, I can do. You know what I was doing on Fiverr? What? I was recording vocals. Really? For people? Yeah. Oh, of course, man. Holy shit. Yeah. I did like three songs. I should get into that, man. Yeah. You can probably make a few bob off of that. Yeah. If you got I put movie. myself on Fiverr to resolve the conflict in the Middle East, and <laughs> it did not go well. <laughs> oh. It did not Yikes. go well. Yikes. <laughs> it has escalated. I don't know if you guys are aware. It has escalated. Oh, <laughs> no, I yeah. don't know. I'm really guilty about the whole situation right now. <laughs> don't hire me on yeah. Fiverr. Um, yeah, it was great for a while. But at some point, some people have their most ridiculous requests. Really? 
Yeah. Like what? That, like a, a lot of people would come to me and, and they give me a song that was already a popular song, yeah. but I had to change the lyrics okay. because they wrote the lyrics with Chat GPT mm. and they wanted they wanted those lyrics to go into that song. So That's I needed crazy. to sing. Why? Like that. Why? If you're one of those people, already... stop. <laughs> Get a fucking office job. <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah. Or like, not only did you not time. write the melody, you stole the melody and the instrumentation from a popular song. You didn't even write the lyrics. You know, you're not serving any purpose in yeah. the world. All right? Go find your <laughs> fucking purpose. Jesus Christ. But sometimes it was like gifts for a friend, for if example. You're using yeah, AI. Honestly, I promise your friend did not want that gift. No, no, okay? No. Your friend no. was like, <laughs> here, does this remind you of your friend? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. What if the, what if the <laughs> gift was one of those joke gifts that you give to your really close friends to piss them off? Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Now you're totally like yeah. If you're doing that, but if you're like trying to be sincere or like trying to impress someone or something, mm -hmm. like just oh, stop, like, man. Just fucking. Tell him, I got you. Buy them present. wine or something. You know what I mean? Buy them chocolate or I something. Got, I got you a present. I don't want it. <laughs> I, like I don't it want. <laughs> I don't want that gift. I think maybe. He doesn't, well, he willn't like it. I promise I will not like it. I don't want it. Willn't is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> willn't. Uh, good luck translating that in the... Will not. Yeah, will not. But like, see, not. okay, here's my thing. Want. Where the fuck does the word won't come from? What What does that abbreviate? Explain it to me. Well, you're the native. What does the word you're won't the abbreviate? Speakers. Will not. Yeah, but how? Where does that come from? I'm want. sure it's from old English. How come willing isn't the word? Because willing sounds crazy. Man. I will yeah. do that. I will. <laughs> I will. I will. Not. Here's another one. Here's another one for you. Uh, did you ever hear that one where it's like mouse, mice, house, houses? What about that? <laughs> what about the that? Thorough. Explain that. Don't I'm you? losing brain cells this yeah, right yeah. now. Gus, how, how do you call the Goose the plural? Geese. Geese, yeah. Goose, geese, you see? moose, meese. And then you have mm. sheep and sheep. Yeah. Mm. And fish and fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe I took... Oh, we're fishes. I'm derailing the conversation fishes. again. Fishes. 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 Weird fishes. Fishies? Is a Radiohead song. Is it? Yeah. Weird fishes? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Here, I learned... To, I, I went to a pub quiz last night. Did a pub quiz. Did you? Yeah, one of those little speed I would, I, would, I would lose... S you would lose. Yeah, yeah. I actually. I started. Started. I started They're fun. They're more about hanging out with your friends. I yeah. do quite enjoy them, and I, I prefer being wrong on a pub quiz. I get quite competitive. <laughs> do you? Yeah. Well, Are you good at them? Man, we were first for a lot of the, the rounds. Yeah, like, we were like up there. Uh, but these are the ones where like the questions are easier, but you just have to be really fast. Uh, so that's okay. where like I can excel. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> I'm not that smart. But, but like, <laughs> he's fast a, according yeah. to, to his girlfriend. Yeah, he's fast. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. real fast. <laughs> You're right. for being quick, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Slow up here, quick up real. Yeah. And uh no but uh no but we 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 did pretty good for most of the rounds. And then we ended up coming seventh because the last round the points that you're awarded and stuff okay. like basically changed the game so much in the yeah. last final round. It's oh, kinda cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh <clears throat> but what was it? There was a question. Yeah, yeah. T tell us about the questions. It was a song, I think, by Blur. Yeah. And it's called Tea. Tea and Coffee or something. No, no. Tea it's it's Coffee and TV. Coffee and TV, yeah. Coffee and TV is the mm. song. Yeah. And the options were, it was multiple choices. It was like Coffee and Cream, Coffee and Thing. And we all clicked Cream. But then I had a feeling it was Coffee and TV. Because who the fuck would make a song called Coffee and Cream? And that's all I have to say. Wow. That was a super interesting story, Joy. Yeah. This podcast, Matt, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry about that. No, it's not on you, Ty. It's on oh, us. We thought if the two of us came together, it would make for great content. Yeah. Maybe there's a clip in here that can be used. Yeah. Maybe. maybe. There's but a like, bunch of them, yeah. I'd say. But like, it didn't pan out the way I thought it would. I'm actually, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm, I'm, like, I'm, I'm playing a serious game here. This is my. This is the top I have. This is the best I can do. This is the best of the best. This, this is the best I have, man. I'm scraping the barrel here. Mm -hmm. Fuck, dude. This is the best you got. Yep. Me too, man. Maybe we can make a song now. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's. I'm 
Yeah, let's write a song. Yeah, play guitar and we'll freestyle a song. Yeah, for the last. That segment. sounds really fun. For the last yeah. segment. Yeah, let's do yeah. it. Thank you. You're the man. <laughs> I don't play. My English is not very well, so I'm not good at that. What key would we like the song in? G. G. Kenny G. We can go for G. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, we're doing <laughs> the intro. Hello, children. Today, we have musical inspiration. Your improvisation. Mm -hmm. imp <clears throat> music. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to play. Yeah, let's play. Just give us like a G minor CD type beat. Go. Just start. I really thought this would be funny. Thought we would make a great show. Thought we would get millions of views and money, but we're idiots, so no, we ruined Francesco's podcast. We ran it into the ground. Francesco's podcast. No one's listening now. Francesco's podcast. Can't believe we ruined the show. Francesco's podcast. I think it's time to go. Let it go. Is that the end of the song? I was waiting for Francesco. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was my part. That was my bit. No, oh, great. Yeah, let it go, man. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> I'm sorry, right. To the bit, to the back, to the base. Let me get the fuck out of this place because I committed human atrocities. That's a joke. <laughs> I don't really know what to say I got stuff to do today And now I'm gonna send it back to the chorus for Dylan Here we go Francesco's podcast I can't remember what I said Francesco's podcast Look how she thing. shake that thing Francesco's <laughs> podcast Can't believe it's over now Francesco's podcast is gone somehow That was brilliant. Yeah. Just another in a series of L's <laughs> that we've been taking. Here, I wrote that one, so that's mine. Just, it's all caught on video that yeah. I wrote that, and it's mine now. <laughs> well, guys, if you're still watching, thanks. Fair, also, fair play. Yeah, yeah fair, fair play. play. You really must have nothing to do. Without, yeah. yeah, yeah. Francesco, I'm sorry. <laughs> and, uh, oh, it's, a, it's all good. We'll so. do it again. Definitely. Um, <laughs> Cammy was meant to be here today. Cammy, imagine. Let's talk about Cammy. Yeah, let's talk about Cammy. Was she there for yours? Nope. No. She wasn't there for mine either. She was out and about seeing the world, though. Yeah. I've heard. Europe. Europe. Oh, on Cammy, I travel because I want to broaden my horizons in life and experience different cultures. Oh. <laughs> oh, I didn't know I'm Francesco, and I'm actually a really cool person. Oh, and like such a delight to be around. Oh. <laughs> So where is she now? Is she in the country? She's here now, yeah. But she couldn't make it because she had to go to Don Leary this morning. For work. For work. Quit your job and be a loser like the rest of us. Yeah. You know what I mean? What, what are we they, doing? I what are we know. doing here? Sometimes I... <laughs> I wonder that. <laughs> I ask myself every morning, what am I doing with my life? Hey man, it's best to ignore your problems. They fix themselves eventually, you know? That's true. That's what, if your relationship's falling apart, mm -hmm. ignore it. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Good big round. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm going to put a carpet over everything that I've ever done wrong. <laughs> yeah. A rug. Sweep it under yeah. the rug, baby. Yeah. yeah. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. This is how we do it. Where's my crippling back on? <laughs> That's another thing. The bank's foreclosing on your house. You're about to lose your home. Ignore, ignore it. it. You can deny in court that you ever saw the letters. Sorry, I didn't know I had to pay my mortgage. I didn't no. see any of the letters. How do you know I can read? Yeah. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> Prove it to me that I can read. Prove it. Did I say I can read? Yeah. Prove <laughs> 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 that I can read. <laughs> Did you actually 
ってるわけあげられてるわけあげられてるわけあげられてるわけあげられてるわけあげられてるわけあげられてるわけあげられてるわけあげられてるわけあげられてるわけあげられてるわけあげられてるわけあげられてるわけあげられてるわけあげられてるわけあげられてるわけあげられてるわけあげられてるわけあげられてるわけあげられてるわけあげられてるわけあげられてるわけあげられてるわけあげられてるわけあげられてるわけあげられ Trump had a skate park in, at Molly Malone, where Molly Malone is now. Suffolk Street, yeah. He actually landed on his head, and that's actually where his political career started. Some believe that maybe the head the collision started his ideas. Prove, prove him wrong. If you don't believe that, that, prove him wrong. You actually no. can't prove that anything happened. No. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> you can't prove shit. You can't prove that you won. You can't prove a damn thing. <laughs> So, Toy says Trump fell on his head on Money Malone doing a, an Ollie on a skateboard. <laughs> you can't prove that didn't happen. I bet there's so little people watching this that we could all say our bank beats. I know, and we're trying to steal our shit. <laughs> like, if anyone's watching this right now, fair yeah. play. Like, really? Yeah, we, really, we ruined this podcast. We did. Yeah. Sorry again, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's funny, though. Yeah. There actually is some funny shit going on. <laughs> All right. Well, I need right. to go get a haircut. Yeah. So, go for it. I'm going to try and make some money now on the streets.、Mm, I'll be stealing from people. I'll be following you out doing that、yeah. as well. Yeah. I'll save you this pot. I heard Joe Biden skating around by Molly Malone. Yeah. Oh, fuck away. Yeah.、No. He really hit his hair. Can't, can't, prove, can't prove it. Can't prove it wrong. Well, we are in. Well, sorry. I wish we were in Dublin, but we're in New York. New York, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. The basement of. The Empire State, yeah. All right, still down with that. Still do a few people. We're failures, Tug. What are we doing here? Failures. I was trying to make myself fake cry. Final funny thing for the podcast. Funny ish. Yeah. I have this obsession with learning to fake cry and it's not working. Because I want to do it to make people uncomfortable, right? <laughs> Because I was having a, a chat a couple、yeah. months ago with this girl that I used to have a bit of a thing with. And,、mm-hmm. and like, we, it was a very nice chat. It was closure. Like, you know, it was like, yeah, look,、like, I'm not, you know, I don't see us dating.、Mm. And she was like, yeah, I don't see us dating either. Blah, blah, blah. But when she said that, the only thought I had was, I really wish I could fake cry. Now. <laughs> Just to make her uncomfortable. But that'd be so funny.、Yeah. Obviously, not for her. She'd be、yeah. like, what the fuck, you know? But she was like, the whole time, I'm like, yeah, I don't see us together. And as soon as she says that, I just、yeah. go, <laughs> <laughs> like, I think that would be so funny. Yeah, that would be funny. There's any acting coaches out there who can help me fake cry,、yeah. let me know. Just bring, like, <laughs> pepper spray myself. Yeah, just pepper spray, <laughs> spray on take all the time. Onions. Yeah. yeah. I just thought it was yeah, the only thing. Yeah, yeah. It was the only thing I could think、yeah. about when she was saying, "I would stop listening to her." <laughs> I was just like, "I really wish I'm a fake cry right now." <laughs> <laughs> That actually be pretty good skill. Yeah, yeah. this was all funny about that and being able to just do a backflip whenever you want. <laughs> Like、Whenever everybody toss a coin on, on the case, yeah, just I can do that right now. I can do that right now. I'll do. I have to do off camera. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit, man! <laughs> what the fuck? Pretty good, right? Yeah. You just did it. I'm、He's、gonna. Got that do, you know what? I'm gonna try and do this. Both sides. Try it. I'm gonna try and do. I'm、something. using both cameras. I'm. I'm gonna try and do something. Three, two, one. Oh shit! Oh no, my leg! Oh, oh my leg, please! Oh no, my leg! Oh my god! 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 Oh my